Okay, so welcome to another motorcycle review. So uh, this time around, it's um, summer with my CRF 300L Part 1. And the reason why it's Part 1 is this is all about my time with the bike um, in its pre-modded state. Anyway, so hopefully, as you can see, we've had a great summer in the UK and I've been doing lots of knobbing around. I mean, really, all I've been doing is messing around on lovely little green lanes in Northumberland and uh, riding through rivers and stuff. It's just been absolutely brilliant. Anyway, so a quick update. I've now done 2,000 miles. Um, so the engine. Um, yeah, well, the engine, I think, as I said last time, it's so much more better on the road because um, here, here in the UK, our green lanes... Um, you know, they're pretty short. Well, certainly they're pretty short in Northumberland. I think the longest is, you know, I've, I've ridden is about two, three miles long. And we have lots of tarmac in between them. So, you know, I have to do lots of tarmac riding to be able to link the green lanes together. And um, on the 300, it's actually a load more fun. I mean, it'll hold 70 and go up to 75, you know, quite easy. Um, so it makes it a lot better. And of course, the engine is a lot better off-road as well. Um, so the power is a lot easier to get at. You can squirt it around corners and you can loft the front end and get the front end light when you come across um, obstacles which is a brilliant thing um, and now it is mechanically more noisy than the 250 um, and it just sort of sounds as though it's rattling a little bit which I understand is the cam chain but that's kind of like perfectly normal so nothing to worry about now one thing that I have noticed is compared to the 250 is uh, the heat from the radiator I mean it's in no way a problem you know it's a bit like having you know like the wife's hair dryer on um, sort of at number two aiming at your leg um, so it's that kind of heat um, and it's not really a problem um, but yeah it's definitely a little bit warmer than the 250 uh, but I'm having no real issues with it and apart from that I really love this signpost I can imagine you know 30 years ago a lone banjo player playing his banjo leaning against this signpost uh, with the signpost to heart side and Lynn hope anyway i digress um onto the suspension uh, yeah it's still totally totally soft and it probably is too soft but like i said last time i haven't managed to ban uh, bottom it out yet it's almost as though there's like a couple of rubber rubber bungs at the bottom of the four legs and like one under the shock so although it does get to the end of its travel it doesn't sort of like feel as though you know somebody's polaxing you so it's nowhere near as bad um but yeah that's it's going to be num probably number one or number two on my list of things to update um but overall, the handling of the bike feels so much lighter than the 250. And uh, it's so easy to use on and off-road. And I think I think the handling is absolutely noticeable. And you can kind of see some of the bits and pieces and some of the types of lanes that I go um, riding on these days. And, you know, I've not had any problems with it whatsoever on these types of green lanes. So it's utterly, totally brilliant um what else can i tell you about well i'll tell you about some of the mods that i'm going to make um which will hopefully be in the next video first one is the tires so interestingly enough the irc tires um which i thought were kind of okay on the 250 the extra power on the 300 really kind of overwhelms them and you really kind of feel the limitations a lot more because you've got that kind of extra power and probably a little bit of extra handling so i'm going to be junking the tires very very soon and i'm putting a set of michelin trackers on uh, next thing i'm going to do is the suspension front and rear so um haven't decided which one yet but i'll get a new rear shock for it and probably just a quick um simple um spring kit for the for, for the front forks and then that should just about do me so hopefully i'm going to get all of that stuff done um, over the next couple of weeks and then that will be part two of the video um, but overall yep yeah, 2000 miles in um, it's a brilliant bike it really is a big step up from the 250 it's a lot more fun and I can imagine going on um, kind of a long distance tour for this you know once I find get a solution for the petrol tank but no it's a brilliant bike um, and the reason why I'm not doing a piece to camera this time around is because uh, everyone's sick of looking at my face I've got really bad teeth no but I've got like a really bad spot on my nose and it's like uh, I think it's ready to do the full Mount Etna, so uh, nobody wants to see that, do they, on YouTube? Anyway, that's it. Part two coming soon. Cheerio, bye.